We're live in the Facebook group. Let me get started here. We're live in the Facebook group. Audio is working. Do you guys want to uh, join the Zoom and chat live? You can do that too. I'm going to start putting the Zoom links in. If not, um, either way, we're going to get started here. So we're uh, going to start here in a couple minutes, but if you guys are just joining the group, congrats on joining. Uh, it's a free group, Facebook Chicago Wholesale Goods Live. Um, if you guys go to the featured or guide section here, I got over 120 replays of recordings of training that you can watch for free, all about how we're flipping cash flowing houses using no cash, no credit. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, post that here. If you guys want to join the Zoom, you can do that. I posted the Zoom link in the group. So if you guys do want to join the Zoom and talk with me directly, you can do that. That'd be cool. Um, I'm just, I know I haven't done that in the past, but I'm gonna start doing that. Hey, KK, how are you doing, man? So we're gonna start it here in a minute. Um, today we're gonna go over how we're using AI, AI technology. We're gonna go over how we're using AI technology in our business and what we're doing and how to use it. And just basically how you can automate a lot of things in your business using AI. And uh, it's just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, we're just basically getting started using it. and. It's going to be pretty cool, uh, all the stuff that you can do. We're, we're going to show you that what we're using it for. So, hey, we got a couple of people on the Zoom. So if you guys uh, want to join the Zoom, you can. I know I haven't done that before, but join. Hop on the Zoom if you want to connect uh, directly with me. That would be cool. So if you're in the Chicago area, uh, we are in like five different markets. Uh, Orlando, Texas, Arizona, the Carolinas. Uh, so if you are in Chicago area, look for wholesale deals, you can join our buyers list here if you're not part of that yet. Uh, if you have a deal and uh, maybe you have it under contract or you own the property, um, you can direct to owner, send us the deal. We can take a look at it, see if the numbers work. You can take a look at it. And if you're, uh, we're always looking for partners. Uh, we always open and close our partnership program once we have about 10 new people at a time. Uh, we get them up and running, and once they're up and running, we reopen it. So we are open right now for uh, mentoring and partnering. Uh, basically, we're teaching you how to flip and cash flow houses without cash, without credit. Um, you want to? We teach you to get to the point of, hey, yes, do wholesaling, yes, do trade options and flip properties, uh, but also pick up cash flowing rent to owns, cash flowing Airbnbs, so that. You know, hey, if I don't want to work this month and you don't close any deals, you have enough cash flow coming in from Airbnbs, from uh, rent to owns, where you don't even, you don't even need to close a deal. So that's the point where you want to get is enough cash flow, where it doesn't matter if you close any deals or not, because all the cash flow coming in is uh, paying off. Cash flow. So uh, there's a couple people on the room. If you guys want to uh, talk, you can unmute yourself at any time. Um, and if you guys have a few people on Facebook, if you guys have any uh, questions, you can always put it in the comments. Today we're going over on how we're using AI technology and how you can use it for free. So the uh, the first thing that came out was Chat GPT, uh, the one that I recommend using. Um, uh, what we're going to recommend using. I'm actually going to go through it now is uh, bard.google.com. The reason why is because uh, ChatGPT is older. It's 2021 information and, old, and older. It's not gonna give you data from 2022, 2023. Uh, Bard is actually Google's uh, ChatGPT basically. Google created Bard and uh, it's, it's data relevant to 2023 to today. And um, 
and uh, it's basically chat GPT with Google, right? So uh, you want to use this. Um, you can use this for every, you know, I'm going to show you a lot of cool ways we're using it right now. Um, but the first way is uh, market research, right? So uh, in this business, there's a lot of markets right now that are, the prices are dropping really fast in certain zip codes all around Chicago. I've seen uh, a lot of areas, like for example, greater Grand Crossing area. In the last like three months, six months, equity is dropping like 60, 70, 80 grand. It's hard to sell anything in that area. Um, there's a lot of areas in Chicago where no one's buying because the prices are dropping like crazy and you want to avoid those areas, right? So you want to find out like market research because if I get a deal under contract, I do all the work and then I try to sell it and I can't sell it, which is um, happening a lot uh, in, in this recession, is uh, you're wasting all your time, right? So you want to find out what market is still hot what market buyers are still buying in so that you can actually move your deals, <clears throat> right? Um, does someone have a question? Hey, Hogan, do you have a question? It looks like you unmuted yourself. No, I didn't raise my hand. Okay, no problem. I'll put you back on me. So you want to do market research because the worst thing is doing all the work, getting a deal under contract, and then you can't sell it, right? And uh, in Chicago, there's a lot of markets, pockets, zip codes in Chicago where buyers are not buying anymore. And if they are buying, they're, they're, they're low-balling like crazy because of the prices are coming down. Uh, and uh, so a lot of deals that we're doing now in Chicago, we got to go back to the seller and say, hey, I know you wanted you know 200 but can we do you know the highest offer was... 170 so we need need to be at 160 to make this deal work so we're you know a lot of the deals are going back to the seller getting price reductions right um so market research so you want to type you know basically like if you're going to stick to the chicago market i'm telling people like hey why not go to florida go to texas um you can you can do deals virtually from home in florida texas uh which these two markets are the hottest in in, in america um, or you can pick other states or other hot states where it actually there's a lot of growth. Um, if you guys notice Chicago, Illinois, uh, a lot of the pockets people are leaving. So it's a uh, population decrease is happening almost uh, every quarter of the year. So what that means is uh, deals would be harder to sell because people are leaving that area. Whereas Florida, like everyone's moving there. So when you get a deal on a contract in Florida, we sell in deals in like 24 hours and it's easy to sell. It's a hot market. You know, before they started increasing the interest rates, the whole nation was basically a hot market. So you can sell properties pretty easy everywhere. Uh, but now uh, when the interest rates went up, uh, you know, people stopped. A lot of buyers stopped buying. They said about more than 50% of investors have left the market um, nationwide as of today. So we're going to use this for uh, market research, right? So let's say you're in Chicago. Um, let's say you want to do another state. You can do whatever state or city that you want. Chicago, Illinois. I want to look at uh, where are the most uh, investor, the most uh, cash buyers, or you can say investors. Where are the most uh, uh, closings happening by zip code? Give me, give me the top ten zip code. Where, where there's most activity, most closing happening, right? So then it's not, it's going to sort of spit out um, the top zip code. So you have 60607. It had 1137, and I probably should have specified. You know, you want to be specific. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to say, give me a top zip code um, where most real estate closings are happening uh, in the last uh, 12 months, right? And then you kind of want to focus. Like, so once you have the zip codes in the area that you want to target, you want to focus on these zip codes with all your marketing, right? So 
but I specify a little better there. So you got 60611, 60603, 60625. So these are where the most closings are happening. So these are probably still hot zip codes uh, in Chicago. There's a lot of north side areas in Chicago, suburbs in Chicago that are still hot. Like we um, we sold a deal in Portage Park. It sold in like two days. Uh, we sold a deal in like Mount Prospect. It sold in like 24 hours. So there are still pockets that are uh, very hot still. You just need to find them and focus on them, right? And and um, then there are pockets that are not selling, right? So you want to avoid those and then focus your marketing on the top zip code, right? And if you're going to another state or another uh, area, you're going to do the same thing. And let's say I'm in Orlando, Florida. I'm just going to change the state. And then it's going to give me, now I'm going to go to Orlando and uh, see what the top zip codes are in Orlando. And pretty much all of Orlando is hot, so it really doesn't matter. So you can see the top top zip code in Orlando here. So you want to focus, you know, the, in this business, you can't, you know, focus on every zip code in the country. There's too many leads. So you want to, you know, especially if you're brand new, you just want to laser focus on certain areas and then start from there, right? And then talking to sellers uh, via email, via text, uh, we use this a lot as well. Uh, our, our, our partners are using it as well a lot. For example, let's say um, you're uh, texting texting a lot of sellers. You have maybe a, a list of phone numbers that uh, you want to text, or, or a list of emails you want to send an email. You can you can actually have this AI uh, send you uh, text messages that you can just copy paste, right? So you don't have to type them out. Um, so we can ask to say, hey, send. Uh, uh, text uh, messages to sellers, seller, needs of, uh, seller, be more specific, real estate needs, and give me 10 different variations. Send text messages to, to seller real estate leads. Uh, I am an investor looking to buy properties and give me 10 different variations of the text. And if you're sending a lot of text messages, you kind of want to rotate them. You don't want to send the same thing over and over and over again. You want to rotate the text. And um, here you can just like copy paste so you don't have to create your own, right? So you got one here. Yeah, I'm a real estate investor in Orlando. I'm looking to buy properties in the area. I'm wondering if you're interested in selling your home. I'm familiar with the market. Confident I can give you a fair price on home. If you're interested, I'd love to chat. You can reach me, your phone number, your email, put your name here. So you can just copy and paste these. You got two, three, four, five. And these are all different variations. But if you're like using something like Google Voice, which is free, um, you definitely need to rotate the text and change it all the time because they're gonna label you as spam and they're gonna start blocking your number to sending the carriers. So, um, and you can do this for email as well, right? Just do the same thing for email, get 10 different variations, you know, save this on a, maybe a Word document and just rotate the text right over and over again. And then boom, you know, you can text a hundred leads in the matter of, you know, 20 minutes, right? Uh, you can just copy paste, go to Google Voice, boom. And every, uh, few minutes you're sending a text, every uh, few seconds you're sending a text. Convince these sellers to sign contracts. Um, let's say you got a seller on the line and, and you made a $100,000 cash offer and then they, they're on the fence, right? Let's say that, uh, you know, hey, help me, help me convince a seller, a seller um, to accept my cash offer on the property. Give me a uh, email to send to them. Oh, let me just go back. So give me an email to send. So here, you know, it's going to come up with a, a, a template that you can use. That you can maybe that maybe you made the offer and the seller goes, "Oh, I got to think about it." Um, and then after that phone call, you want to shoot them a, a, a email, right, to follow up with them. So. For, instead of me typing it out, 
you know, could you imagine like you making five, six, seven offers a day and, and you're going to, you know, this is, this is going to save you so much time typing out your own email, typing everything out yourself, right? So we read this, hope this email finds you well. My name is Russell, I'm going to stay in best here. I'm ready to express, so maybe you already made the offer, so maybe you want to get rid of any introduction there. I'm following the market closely. I want to know the home is great guys. It's a desirable location. It's been well. So you want to read it and then edit it, you know. There's several advantages of selling your home to move the cash. They can either they need to wait for a buyer, qualify for a mortgage, no appraisals, no inspections. Um, I'm willing to uh, close on your terms. We can work around your schedule. I know that you're probably considering other offers, but I leave my offer is the best for you. It's a fair price. I'm willing to close quick. I love to schedule a time to meet with you in person. Um, and again, you know, read it and edit it based upon your situation, right? So, uh, KK had a question. I see some AI programs uh, you guys use it found to be helpful. I see some specialized communication lead responses. Yeah, BARD is Google. So uh, you can get anything on, on BARD as far as demographics and data. So, um, you know, it's like, for example, uh, you want demographics, you want, uh, you know, hey, what's the population growth in uh, 60641, right? So you can, you can get like, and you can type in demographics and it's gonna give you pretty much everything, right? So check this out. Uh, population growth in 60641, in uh, 2020, it increased by 4.3%. Um, I mean, good demographics, like uh, people that live in that zip code, you know, you want to figure out uh, who's living there. It's going to give you their age, their, their race, language, education, income, occupation. So it's just pretty cool. Like, with, you know, you can search Google and it'll take you a little bit of time to find it, but this is like, you know, boom, you know, right in front of your face right away, right? So uh, way more better than Chat GPT because Chat GPT's data is, is old. This is 2023. This is Google, Google's data, right? So convincing sellers to sign contracts. I mean, um, let me do another example. Let's say you got a, a seller maybe interested in a, your rent to own offer. Um, you know, we're going to say, uh, help me uh, convince the seller to accept my rent to own offer on their home. And uh, they give you kind of like a template of what to, you know, what you can sell the seller. Do your research for, so this is tips for you here. And then here it's going to give you rent to own can provide a steady stream of income for a period of time if buyer is not able to qualify for a mortgage. Rent to own, you can sell your your home for maybe a higher price in the future. Uh, rent to own is a good option for sellers looking to uh, downsize. And, they, and then you can use, and then they created that, you know, so I created a, a letter that I can send to them. So, uh, and, and what's good about this is, um, the fact, you know, like it can answer all the fact-based questions. Like if a seller asks, hey, what's the closing cost? Uh, closing cost in Chicago, Illinois to sell a $200,000 property. And it's going to give you, you know, any fact-based questions, it's probably going to give you like uh, the right, the correct answer. Like, what's the closing cost in Chicago, Illinois to sell a $200,000 property? And then boom, it gets, tells me you know if you're going to pay between two to five percent um and it explains like what are the closing costs title insurance reporting fees so th this is going to make you an expert like if you're brand new and you have this at your fingertips like you know the seller's gonna be like wow you, how do you know all this stuff right and you, you're not you know especially if you haven't closed deals yet you know this is an awesome tool to have in your back pocket um Creating any advertisements. So uh, the email I sent out for this training, I, I, I could just send the email, uh, any email advertisement, any type of advertisement on Facebook. Let's say you're trying to create a Facebook ad. 
create a Facebook ad for uh, homeowners looking to sell their property in Chicago, Illinois to a uh, cash buyer. So it's gonna help you create like a Facebook ad for you. But check this out. So are you thinking about selling your home in Chicago? So you may be wondering. So there's like the text of the, there's a headline, the title, sell your Chicago home for cash, no hassle, no waiting. And here's like the text in the Facebook ad and then your call to action. And then it says, uh, put an image in there, a, a, a photo of a beautiful home in Chicago, uh, your target audience. Uh, look at that, it even gives you your placement, your budget tracking. Facebook can add a very, uh, the homeowners probably looking to sell their home quickly. So this is your ad right here, photo. Boom, I'm gonna use that, right? And then put that in your Facebook ad. And all of a sudden, within seconds, you know, you got to add up and run. And it's a 24-7 mentor. Use it, you know, like, you know, you can ask it a question 24-7. At 3 in the morning, you need a question answered. Um, uh, it's going to give you an answer. Let's say uh, someone asks you, hey, do they allow uh, our, our Airbnbs allowed in Elmwood, Elmwood Park, Illinois? So any legal questions, of course, you can answer them that. Way. Maybe there's no data online. But are Airbnbs legal in the village? In the village at home Maybe if Google doesn't have an answer. I mean, maybe if there's no answer online, it's probably not going to be able to answer it, right? So there you go. No Airbnbs are not illegal in Elmwood Park, Illinois. The village passed an ordinance that banned all short term rentals, including Airbnbs. The ordinance was passed in response to noise. Uh, the ordinance. So it, it does, it did give me an answer here. But it kind of said it did not ban it, and then it did ban it. So I'm going to do some research on that. But yeah, find out, you know, and then writing contracts, um, you know, these are probably going to expire. You can probably fire your attorney for writing contracts. A uh, write, write me a quick claim to sell, uh, put an address on 24 6 North Lowell, Chicago, Illinois, for $150,000. Write me a, uh, write me a purchase contract. And, you know, maybe you got to send a tenant a 30 day notice, you got to send the tenant uh, some type of notice, maybe you have a tenant, any type of contracts, it, 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 you know, it can spit out a contract in seconds. And you can add things to it, you know, hey, can you add, you know, a after the, after you send the, it sends it back to you, so you can add things to it, hey, hey can you add, and then what you want to add, right, and then it, it adds it to the contract. So, I mean, you can fire your you know, this is probably going to help uh, uh, attorney fees, writing up contracts and all that, right? Uh, we are using a, a, a system where it's it's uh, a built-in AI and we haven't, we haven't, uh, uh, you know, we just started testing it. So we're using a system called Creative REI Reply where it has a built-in AI technology where it's, uh, replying to people. So you can see this, um, when we sent the text on this property in Florida, and then I have an AI just up, you know, they don't respond. They're, they're sending another text a few days, a few days later, another one, a few days later, another one, a few days later, another one. And then all of a sudden it says run a contract. So like the AI technology is, uh, is uh, responding. Let's see, uh, let me go to older one. So we are testing this out and we are um, let me see. trying to figure out find one word that responds to the right? You will show up. 
you see uh, automatically sends a follow up and have a little for Conhern. So we're testing it. It's something new. Um, we, we haven't like rolled it out yet. We're just doing it in house, but that's something that you guys can take a look at. Creative Art of Life. Uh, we can do campaign, like we're doing campaigns. Uh, we're doing campaigns, but with the AI, without the AI, but eventually we're going to add that to the campaigns where the, the AI is going to be corresponding with the seller directly. And the AI's main goal and focus is hey, uh, you know, they, main goal and focus is to set like an appointment to make an offer okay and i personally use uh use it for everything like uh instead of google i use this for you know personal stuff let's say i'm, I'm i have i want a recipe for chicken or something boom it's going to give me like hey what's the best you know pretty much anything you could think of uh this thing you know for me this replaces google right so personally I'm not, you know, if I'm going to find uh, the best restaurant for, uh, for Italian food in Orlando, it's going to give me the best restaurant. It's going to give me one answer. Instead of going to Google where you have to search and find and you know, there's 10 different options, this gives me one answer. And that's what I like. Save time, right? Automation. Uh, and it just save, saves ton, tons and tons of time, right? Uh, so that's that's how we're using AI technology, and uh, it's just the tip of the iceberg, basically. Um, and our goal is to implement it in in uh, text messaging, right? Uh, so if people come to, you know, we, we text sellers, and then they text us back, and then they're they're talking to the AI, and the AI's goal is just focused on. Hey, can we set up an appointment to make an offer on your property or great what day and time work? And then boom, the AI gets the appointment set and then we just call them back on that time and uh, make an offer, right? If you guys have any questions, uh, you can let me know. And it's it's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, it's, it's really cool. I mean, you guys, uh, a lot of people, ask you know like, like for my for people that i'm partnering with and mentoring i just tell them like hey instead of you know uh text it's just save me time as, as mentoring people because i just say hey instead of uh, uh texting me hey what's the clothing cost or like, just fact-based questions just go to you know download this put it on your phone you know you can you can download it put it on your phone and then uh, uh you know it's going to answer all your questions no matter what time of day or night right And if you are interested in, in uh, we're looking for 10 people to partner with um, as far as, uh, you know, you can use this technology as far as the creative REI reply, which is uh, what we're using to get lots of leads in. And uh, we use it for, and eventually we're going to give the option of like the AI technology as well. So if you're interested in that, reach out. Uh, it's my number, my, my email. I'm available. And we are just uh, blessed to have all this crazy tech. When I started, like I always say, all I had was a list and I had uh, envelopes and uh, I had a uh, uh, paper, right? I had a uh, uh, paper I wrote on it and sent it, uh, sent it, uh, had, to, had to look stamps. I mean, look envelopes, send stamps. And that's how I got my leads when I started. Today is just like technology, everything's automated, right? So every every teaching I, I like to get into scripture, just go into hey, uh, I believe living the best life is taught to us from scripture from the Bible. Um, so and we're we're actually, you know, if you're a Christian, you're you're commanded to preach, to you're commanded to make disciples. So um in 1 Timothy 3a, it says, but if anyone does not provide for his own, especially those of his household, he's denied the faith and is worse than unbeliever. So 1 Timothy 3a, so matter, no matter where you go, um, do it with your family, right? No matter where you go, uh, don't leave your family behind, right? And uh, before, uh, you know, I didn't do that, right? I would work uh, 10, 12 hours. I would work 14-hour days, 16-hour days sometimes. 
and neglecting family, neglecting friends, neglecting people, right? Because I was more focused on making money. Uh, so everyday parents and spouses lead their families in pursuit of success. And it, it's almost as though they're driving down the road and they get pretty far along before they realize they have left members of their family behind. And I'm guilty that I went through a, a divorce. Uh, I was working pretty much when I woke up and I worked until I went to bed. And if you guys are in real estate, you're in this business, you can work as much as you want. You can work two hours a day or you can work 20 hours a day. That's you know, up to you. And of course, yeah, if you work more hours, uh, yeah, eventually you make more money, but at what cost, right? To lose your family, it's not worth it, right? Uh, and like I said, I went through a divorce and a lot of, a lot of it was because I was, wasn't there, right? Like uh, I, I, would, I would work all day 16 hours a day right and and i wasn't putting uh family as a priority right the tragedy is that, is that many value their careers success or personal happiness more than they do their family they decided it was too much work to go back so they keep they just keep driving but how many are now realizing is that the hope of happiness at expense of breaking up a family is an illusion you you cannot give up your marriage or neglect your children and gain true success. When you have a strong family, you receive the message of your love, care for, and important. If you are single, you know, friends, uh, you know, hang, hang out with friends, your, your parents, your family, that, that's your family at the moment, right? So when you have a strong family life, you receive the message that you love, care for, and important. And uh, the positive intake of love and affection and respect give you the inner resources to deal with life more successfully. So in what ways are you staying committed to your family? And, um, you know, today I, uh, I, uh, I, I try to work like four hours at most a day. And then after that, I put my computer down and, and, and that's it. Right? Like people text me or, or you know, I'll, I'll reply but I'm not working, sitting on the computer for 10, 12, 16 hours in a day anymore. Uh, what I do is I try to, you know, I'm gonna do four hours of work and then that's it because, um, you know, family's more important, right? Uh, your wife is more important, your children are more important than money. Your, your, your parents are more important, your friends, hanging out with your friends are more important and, and developing relationships. And, you know, it's, it's, it's not, uh, at the end of your life, you're going to say, you know, you're not going to say, oh, I wish uh, I spent more time working so I could have the Lamborghini. Uh, at the end of your life, you're not going to say, I wish I spent more time working so I can have a nicer house. You're not even going to think about that. At the end of your life, you're going to say, oh, man, I wish I spent more time with my dad. Man, I wish I spent more time with my mom or my wife or my children, right? So, so uh, don't regret you know, your life um, and uh, make the same mistake I did where I was just pursuing, uh, my whole goal was just making money from the moment I woke up to the time I went to sleep and it was never, um, it was never uh, family, right? So, thanks, Peter. So God bless, uh, we're gonna end here. Uh, so focus on your family, uh, the message for today. And uh, use the technology is free. Bar.google.com is free. Use it. It's awesome. Use it as a mentor. Use it to, uh, to get contracts signed. Use it to talk to sellers. Use it to text sellers. Use it to do marketing. Especially in this market, do the research on the market. Make sure it's still a hot market. People are still buying there. Because at the end, uh, you know, you don't want to get a deal on a contract where no one's buying, right? So we're going to end here. Uh, God bless you guys. I hope you guys uh, got a lot out of today. And uh, we're going to end here. God bless.